Hi, everybody. Crosstalk FM is an English and Japanese bilingual freestyle podcast. In this podcast, we explore some cross cultural themes and trends. Hi, I'm Andrea. Hi, I'm Tomia. This episode, we're going to talk about、uh, Oxford's 2023 Word of the Year. Yes, this is funny and exciting.、Mm. So, we talk about the same similar topic. A few weeks ago, a few, few weeks episodes ago. ago. Yeah, that was the word for 2022, right? No, it was 2023. Was it chosen by someone different? I guess so. It was hallucinate. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of a different word. <laughs> I thought it was the goblin mode. Goblin mode is that was 2022. 2022. Okay. Okay. But this time, this is, this is offshore Oxford word of the year. Yeah, so Oxford is the company that makes the big English dictionaries. Right. The very famous English dictionaries. Yes. So yeah. every year they pick a word of the year that represents or kind of defines the year that is just now passing. And I think they do the same in Japan, right?、Uh, Is it Arashiyama? No. No, 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 no.、Uh, what's the big temple in Kyoto? Kiyomizu, Kiyomizu Temple. Yeah, so the priest there decides the kanji for the year. And what was the kanji? Do you remember?、Uh, in 2022? Yeah. Was war. Okay, because of the Ukraine、right. invasion. Right, right. Invasion of Ukraine. Right. When do they decide the one for 2023? Do you know? I think maybe the soon. The third of. Third week of、uh, December. Okay, so coming somewhat soon. Yes. Okay. So Oxford was first. Oxford got their word out first. Okay, I understand. So can you, can you introduce the word of the year? Sure. This is according to Oxford. They've chosen the word Riz. Riz. And this is a Generation Z. Z's. Uh, buzzword or you know, thing. So apparently, there's a, there's a famous actor in America named、mm. Tom Holland. Yes. He's too young for me. I don't watch his movies. But Tom Holland was saying he doesn't have any riz. So this is where the word comes from. Yeah.、Um, riz is short for charisma. 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 In Japanese, charisma. Right. Yes. So Tom Holland was saying he doesn't have any riz. He doesn't have any charisma.、Mm-hmm. But everyone kind of、uh, jumped on him for saying that because he's dating one of the most beautiful actresses in America right now.、Mm. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> How can you not have riz? <laughs> You're dating her. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Charisma. I also checked、yeah. this word. It has a meaning of like a sexual appeal. Sexual appeal.、Oh. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Charisma. Is charisma. Sexual appeal.、Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Appeal, charm, sexual、okay. appeal. Yeah. Okay. It's all wrapped up in one nice present. I see. Yeah. So I'm the right person to say this word, I think. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't have riz. <laughs> You do. You're actually, you're actually well liked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're well liked. So, what did you think about this word when you first heard it? Riz. Riz. Did you know what it meant? I didn't. No, I, I didn't. had to read the article. I, didn't, I wouldn't have guessed what it was from. So, you texted me this buzzword、yeah. last night, and、yeah. that, that, that's the time I saw this word. Okay. That was the first time. Okay. Could you imagine what word it came from, or could you imagine what it was? I wouldn't guess. I, no. No, I wouldn't Same, either. Like, Riz? I don't I, I think I wouldn't be able to guess where it, this came from, and、right. I wouldn't guess the meaning of this word itself. Right, me neither. So, can you, do you know how this word was made?、Um, I don't remember, no. Okay. I thought it was just an abbreviation of charisma. Is there a,、ah, a different thing? Charisma no. Riz. Riz.、Yeah. I see. That makes sense. Was there another reason? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just curious about it. I don't, know why, I don't know why the Generation Z people, the Gen Z people, Gen decided Z. Riz was, was charisma. Ah,、right? okay. I see. I mean, it's interesting. 
rears. Yeah. So they, I mean, they're actually the Generation Z group, mm. uh, they've come up with a few pretty good hits, actually. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't mind. I don't mind. But uh, one more thing that came from Generation Z, one mm. more word is to gift someone, gift someone a thing. Mm. So usually we would normally say in, in traditional English, uh, I was presented. I was presented this from my friend. This, mm, this mm. my friend gave me this remote control. Mm. <laughs> mm. But now Generation Z says he gifted it to me, or I was gifted this remote control, oh, or whatever. Gifted it. Yeah, gifted as a verb rather oh. than as a noun. So that's one other mm. Gen Z buzzword. Buzzword. Yeah. I see. It. Um, mm. Another one that you might have heard of is Karen calling someone a Karen. No, what Karen? So a Karen is an actual name of a woman. It's a woman's name in mm -hmm. English, um, but it's it usually overprivileged, usually white women, Caucasian women who complain a lot mm. about service or whatever. Mm. And so we call them Karens. Uh huh. And people who are actually named Karen don't like that, of course. I see. <laughs> so that's another Gen Z thing: is to call people is that Karen. A verb or now? It's a noun. Mm. Uh, if you were complaining, I could say, oh, stop being such a Karen. Don't be a Karen. I see. Like okay. that, you know. You're being a Karen today. <laughs> <laughs> You're complaining too much. Um, so that's like another Generation Z. Mm. So it does not surprise me that Riz is popular. Mm. Uh, it's kind of fun. Riz. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I think Riz is easier for me to use. Than charisma? I mean... Yeah, the, yeah, the charisma, yes. Yeah. Riz. Okay. So are there any words nominated for this word of the year? There were others. There were nine or ten, I think. Mm, okay, yeah. Um, I looked at the list. I don't really know what all of them were. Okay, shall we guess those... Words the meaning. You want to do that? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, there's one on the list that I had over. You want to go, just go on the list? Sure. Okay, so the first one is... You want to read it or shall I? Go ahead. Okay, the first one is beige flag. I can't think of this meaning. Okay, I couldn't either, but now that I know what it is, it makes complete sense. So... Let's say you are interested in dating a woman online that you met online, but she says some strange things. Mm. Those strange things we say, oh, that's a red flag. That's a warning signal that yeah. your relationship might not go so well. Uh huh. So that's called a red flag. A beige flag is just someone who's boring. Okay. Beige flag. Beige that... is a boring color. It's very oh, basic. I see. Yeah. <laughs> beige flag. Yeah. So in Japan, mm -hmm. after like red is the, the dangerous or, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing for American yes. in this case. Yeah. But uh, beige has no meaning for exactly. Japanese. Yeah, exactly. For Americans too. It has no meaning. It's boring. I see. <laughs> that makes sense. It's a very basic color. There's no like... Tokucho, right? There's nothing special about it. I see. It's boring. Everyone wears it. What a smart people, Gen Z. It's interesting. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't have thought of it myself, but it's very clever. Beige. Okay. The second word, and I had heard of this, was, uh, you know, we've heard of influencers, people who try to promote things online for you to do or to buy or to, to try or, you know, yes. whatever. The second word on the list is a de-influencing. Mm. It's de-influencing. So trying to discourage people from buying bad products or um, consuming certain things or uh, trying certain things that okay. are, you know, maybe bad for the environment or, mm. you know, they're not really cost effective or they're not a good product. We call it a de-influencer. De-influencer. De yeah, instead of Ooh. influencer, de-influencer. I see. Pretty easy to understand. Yes. Here I picked up from the list mm -hmm. prompt is okay. a is it gen z buzzword i don't think so this is the buzzword for uh developers 
Yeah, I don't think it's really a Gen Z thing. Prompt. It just happened to come up this year, mm -hmm. maybe as a word that's popularly used because of certain IT developments. Mm, yes. Mm. So why? So this is this words are uh, bolded. So any kind of word can nominate it. Oh, right? okay. Can be nominated on okay. the list. Mm, okay. That's why. I see. So prompt is basically like a magic keywords to generate something you want. Okay, in AI? In AI. In AI. Okay, so this is an AI specialty word kind of. Yes, okay. yes. You know, if you type a girl, mm -hmm. the AI generates a girl. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know, like um, could be a Japanese girl, Western girl. You don't know, but AI will generate for you. Okay. Mm. So prompt. Okay. I use this almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're a prompt specialist. Prompt. <laughs> That's that, cool. That's cool. Yeah, there's a like a new jobs out there. It called prompt engineer. I think I've heard of that. So that would be someone who thinks of the prompts to use to generate AI material? Right. Prompt is really complicated to make. You need to think about every inch of details to generate what you want to make, what you want to okay. generate. Okay. So prompt engineers is a one of, you know, uh, good job in the future, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe we can switch from our jobs that are going to be dead end to being prompt engineers. Yeah. <laughs> please hire me as a prompt engineer, please. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do through two more of the words really quickly. Uh, another word that was nominated is a situationship. This is kind of weird. It's, it's a spinoff of the word relationship, but it's a romantic relationship where it hasn't been clearly defined. So hmm. maybe like you're dating with someone, but you haven't actually asked the person to be your partner or your boyfriend or girlfriend, but you do have, you know, a relationship, a romantic relationship. Oh. That would be a situationship. Situationship. Yeah. I thought this is represents the shit, uh, like a partnership or a relationship during the like a life and death situation or something. Oh no, not that like, formal. Uh, <laughs> nothing like nothing that formal. It's like when you barely you kind of start dating and you don't really know if you're boyfriend and girlfriend yet, kind of thing. Like you know yeah. the Squid Games. There's a situation, life and death. Sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I thought oh, I thought about okay. it. Situation ship. Okay, that makes sense, but no. <laughs> <laughs> but the last word is uh, Swifty. To so, me, this sounds like the name of a toilet cleaner, but it's not. It's actually someone who is a fan of Taylor Swift. So anyone who is a fan of Taylor Swift, the American singer, you are a Swifty. Oh, okay. It's just uh, name that's a all. fancy name for a sweet Taylor Swift fan. That, that's exactly right. Uh, I'm a Swifty. Why is Taylor Swift so famous? popular honestly i don't know i'm an old woman so i don't know uh she is young she's beautiful and people really love her music i, I mean, think i think she's young and i think she's gorgeous i'm not really a fan of her music don't get me wrong yeah i like her i like some of her songs i don't even know her song <laughs> maybe i should listen to some on the way home <laughs> yeah but you know i don't know so swifty yeah what if this like a format Adapted to a BTS fan. BTS has their own name called ARMY. Their, oh. fans, their fans are called the ARMY. Didn't you know that? No. Where do you live? Armies? <laughs> yeah, it's called the ARMY. Even in their songs, they say, we have an ARMY behind us. And they mean their fans are supporting them behind them. I didn't know that. I knew that because I'm a BTS Army fan. Are you actually. army? I'm a, I'm a member of the army. You are a, a member of the army. <laughs> I'm an army member. <laughs> hey, army. Okay. Yeah, army, army means military. It does, stuff, but it also right? means like the big group of people supporting you. Oh. And, yeah. So they have their own army. Me? But but I don't think every group has a name for their fans. 
Yeah. No, but it's some some group has yeah some groups have or some singers do have mm. but not actually most don't mm, mm, mm. like what's another popular group i have no idea any any popular japanese groups like mrs green apple there's no name for those fans so we checked up the sekai no owari yeah they're a famous band in japan they have a name for their fans mm. it's called ender oh, okay because of owari means end Oh, I see. End, I guess. End Ender. Touching. Interesting. Okay. I see. Ender. Cool. Do we have name for our fans? No, we should get a <laughs> name for our fans, though. <laughs> What would you guys like to be called? <laughs> Please let us know. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good question for our listeners. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to be called? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that it's all for this episode, but don't forget our next one. All right, this is Crosstalk signing off, bringing you English your way every week. Keep listening and keep shining. Bye. Bye.